I'll say ya, uh, I'll say ya, uh, skip that diddly dee. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? Smokey Robinson was just like, I'ma just stand here and be sexy on you nickels. Yo, it was kind of scary when he panned over and saw them seeing him, and he just was like, oh, let me rub my thighs since you over here looking and recording. You gonna get this thigh rub sexy intermission where I ain't doing nothing but standing here and rubbing my thighs and being sexy. What what part of the song is this? Where he was just like, I'ma just stand here. Don't you recognize us? a man standing there? This was the sexy search for the keys. That's what he's doing. He's looking for his car keys. He's like, I know I put my car keys up in these pants somewhere. I know I'm in mid-concert, but then goddamn keys, man. I think I left them. I think I left them in my Escalade. I think I, I'll see what I do with them keys. My wallet, my wallet and keys missing. In the beninging, in the, in the bini, in the beninging, yeah, in the, in, in, uh, in the, in, in the beninging, yeah, in, in, in the beninging, in the beninging, in, in, in. In the be in the, in the beginning. <laughs> Yo, this word tore his ass up. Yo, beginning had a score to settle with his mouth. Beginning was like, bring your ass outside. Bring your ass outside. Beginning man. was like, oh, you think you can save me? Man, bring your ass here. Don't you ever say my name at a press conference. Beginning had a cigarette hanging out his mouth. Beginning kicked this man down the goddamn steps. Look at this little shimmy while Beginning is whooping his ass. The beginning. Ethan, look at the cheap ass biker body. Oh, we, we got the kicks, huh? Hmm? We got the kicks. Man, don't raise your foot against me. Hey, get your cheap ass loafers out my face, man. Fight me hand to hand. Or should I say feathers to hand? Hmm? Hey, what's up now, man? You little cheap ass bike. You out here thinking you sons of anarchy. You sons of whatever bike you can afford. And you better not be out here eating turkey sandwiches. Girl, don't be showing me off. Girl, give me the wig piece. Girl. Hey, get her wig Give me the wig piece. Hey, get her get that wig piece, piece man. man. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the only hey, primate in this cage with the luxurious wig piece. I'm going to be standing out in the crowd. Girl, give me the wig piece. Man. You don't appreciate your wig piece? Let me get that wig piece. Hand over the wig piece, man. Just give it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, back up, man. Hey, man, put your shirt back on, man. Don't you ever disrespect me with that 65% cotton, 35% polyester assault weapon. You know what I'm saying? And while you're at it, girl, give me the wig piece. What do you think you're doing, man? Let me get that wig piece. Let me get the wig piece. Come over here and look at Stanley at the printing machine. Oh, Lord. What's he doing now? Hey, you know Chris, man. He's always fumbling the documents. Hey. Hey, yo, look at... Yo, he about to Photoshop his ass, man. Yo, who's still doing this in 2020, bro? I don't know, man, but he's got his big pimply accounts receivable ass all over the machinery. Oh, Patrick! See your job at the crossroads so you won't be lonely. Then and only then can we proceed with these particular laws. Yes, yes, here, here. Man, y'all ain't right. talking about a damn thing in here. I rebuke y'all, man. I got holy water hey, in here, man. Hey, man, what's up? I like sweet grits. <laughs> oh, no, man. You can't mean that. Everybody know it's savory oh, grits all day, man. Ass, savory man. all day. You know that, right? I see a sweet grit. Kirkpatrick, man. Savory grits all day, man. Get your feet together. You know not to come to me with no sweet grits in here, man. Oh. Oh. This ain't going how you oh. thought it was, huh, Grandma? This ain't Disney play, on, boy. Sir. I ain't Bambi. Hold on. Let me reflect. Hold on. Hmm? Oh. 
Yeah. Wait. These antlers made of oak, playboy. Hold on, nigga. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. hey, man. Let me get my feet mm -hmm. together, man. Come on. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. You more, you yep. more formidable mm -hmm. than I anticipate. Let's anticipate getting your ass the hell up out of here, shouty. Man, what the hell is this? What in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin fashions is this? What, what, where you going in this? The slopes? We going to the solid gold slopes? And you wearing foot pegs at the Olympics? What the? And you wearing elliptical machine bottoms? Man, where, you, where are we going in this? And don't give me this tone. You don't know high fashion. Man, hell no, man. Ain't nobody having a good time in none of this. Look at the slide up. The models are miserable sliding up the runway in this mess. Y'all just making anything and calling it fashion. I've had it. I've had it, man. You walking around like exercise equipment bottoms. I'm sick of this, man. Make it off. Make, make it off me, man. I'm sick of this fashion. This is ridiculous, man. The slide, I'm out. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, there are peasant eggs that I can slither upon and devour. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Let me lean in here and tell you something. You off beat on them drums. What a fool believe. So he really think I won't snatch them dreads up and pull them down in this broth, huh? <laughs> he too comfortable. Yeah, I'll rip your nipples in half. Man, give me this bowl, man. You just a soft breather, dog, man. You don't deserve these morsels. Man, watch out, man. I'm eating everybody's snacks, man. What y'all finna do? You guys are thirsty, huh? Waiting your turn again. Well, take a sip of this, huh? Take a sip of all of this, huh? You soft breeze. Huh? Look at these bills in the studio. Oh, man, what are the dog biscuits? Key, come on. He's coming. I see. Oh, you. somebody. You got to call him like this. Come on, Rick. Okay. Yo, I see the trees. Look, look at the. Oh, 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 oh. Like, yeah. Yo. He came when you called he him. He came when you called yes. him. What? Ricky. Really Look at this. Come on, Ricky. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He snap. Yeah, He's coming know. over here. He walked just down from calling him about 30 yards. Wow. Good boy. And just sat. He's, and he's like, he's what's up? Dog. He's what sat. Oh, no, this Tony is. them. Okay. Yo. Wow. That's crazy, man. I had no clue. They knew names. He was like, Ricky, huh? That's literally what he did. Wow, this is amazing, man. This is a crocodile, y'all. This ain't this ain't no Boom, look at this look at this green room table, y'all. We got the fruit that I requested, but look at the devil in the underneath. You know what I'm saying? We got the butterfinger, the Milky Way. The payday, the Kit Kat, the zero. What's that Milky Way doing in here with the zero? We got the peanut M&Ms and the plane. Let me tell you something. I've never in my life had a zero bar. I remember the, the, the rapper. But let me tell you something. The rapper don't really match what's inside. We got caramel, peanut, and almond with nougat covered in white fudge. This looks like a chocolate mint type of rapper right here. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Something cool. You know what I'm saying? Kit Kat is the MVP with the peanut M&Ms and the payday. Milky Way is towards the bottom. Butterfingers cool, but look what's in the underneath. The three musty tears is in the underneath. The worst one in this whole display case. The three musketeers can get the hell up out of here. Ah, yeah, man. Let me come out here and marvel and reflect, man. Let the waters rinse my little toenails off, man. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You feel me, man? Just happy to be alive. Just happy to be alive, man, because the alternative is death. And none of us know what's on the other side because we alive. We don't know what's on the other side until we go to the other side. But ain't no coming back. You know what I'm saying, man? I just like to marvel and reflect the guy's beauty randomly. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You feel me, man? You know what I'm saying? We got a lot to stress about. We always think about the next stress ball. We, we seldom take it all in. Look at my beautiful people taking it all in, marveling and reflecting. Doing a great job, ladies. You're doing a great job, ladies. Oh, you women are warriors. You're warriors, ladies. You're doing a great job. And why y'all are doing a great job of let me dabble in this iPhone 7, ladies. All right, ladies. You're doing a great job. Keep doing a great job. Keep listening. I'll be listening as well. Oh.
I never knew. I never knew. See, all this time, I didn't want to assume that she was pregnant. I just thought food was good. Food be good. But now that all the, I never knew. Even when I saw these pictures, I thought she just adopted a fresh baby. I thought she adopted a fresh baby. I was like, oh, she even laying down with the fresh baby like she delivered. I didn't want to assume. Because I thought fresh babies need the adoption as well. And I was like, oh, she looked tired like she delivered when she really didn't. I thought food was just good. I didn't want to assume. Because a lot of y'all was assuming too early. But I never knew. I never knew. Congrats, y'all, man. The fresh baby. Because here's what y'all not understanding, mm -hmm. right? Tell if I got a slide, tell. he gonna slide. Ain't that right? Oh, most definitely, man. Caution and if way I through. got a skirt, skirt, mm -hmm. then he gonna mm -hmm. skirt, skirt yep, yep. with me. Ain't yeah, that right? Yeah, damn right. I don't even know how to And drive. if I gotta die, oh. then he gonna die with me. Ain't well, that you right? You know what, man? I'm gonna some on the stove, no, man. Come on, I don't wanna die. Life. I got it, Natalie. Hey, <laughs> hey, man, who the hell you think you kidding out here, man? No games out here. You get the full skippity pat 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 pat. Yo, I was downtown clubbing, if you will. It was ladies' night. I seen Shorty. She was crazy right. I said, "Hey, ma, what's your Asian type?" She looked at me and said, "Ah." Oh, Oh, you's a baby, right? I told her I'm 18 and live a crazy life. Plus, I can show you what the 780s are like. I don't know what the lady's like. You need a man that's polite. Listens and takes advice, if you will. I can be all three. Plus, I can lay the pipe. Come with me. Come stay the night. She looked at me laughing. <laughs> Boy, your game is tight. And I'm laughing back like, <laughs> show you right. <laughs> yes, yes. Hmm? Oh, wait, hold on, Natalie. You hit me. Oh, wait, wait, you hit me, my spot. Oh, 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 you hungry? You don't see anyone here in that salad? It's crazy, man. This chair, cool. Damn, this chair just snapped you, man. I don't know what happened. Yeah, throw that meat over the fence, Hank. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? Nah, not that meat, Hank. Throw yourself over the fence. I want that organic Hank meat. No pause. Press play. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin and driving through the community fresh out the closet is going on here? Like, who? Who even thinks to put something like this together? Where are you going? I know that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but where are you going? This is some innovative shit. Now, you can't honk, though. You just got to take it or have some spray starts with you since we doing, like, clothing accessory type steering wheels. And where are you going with this? Hopefully you going to get a new steering wheel. And who even sells just raw steering wheels? My only beef with this setup right here is that Plastic hangers cannot be trusted. They will betray your ass every goddamn time. Plastic hangers are those double cross characters in the movies. Plastic hanger, man. I trusted you to hold my pants up. Sorry, Tone. I was out. That hanger snap just hurts your goddamn soul. I wouldn't even feel comfortable with this with the wire hangers, man. Because the wire hangers be bending, though. Like, they can't really take the pressure. And if you're driving hard... You gonna bend that wire hanger. If your car ain't got no power steering, this little flimsy plastic hanger gonna snap. I would only feel comfortable with this if I had the wood grain stolen hotel hanger. Yeah, those wooden hangers got that integrity that you need for the hard turns. You out here reflecting, huh? Clearing your mind while you fish. Hmm? Hmm? Look at your goofy ass in the water. Hmm? Purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Hmm? You was at peace while you was luring that fish to its death. Huh? Come here. Come here. Don't run from me. Let's talk about it. Hmm? Yeah. Damn, man. What the hell going on out here? Who, who am I? What, what years? Man, what is anything out here? Man, what the hell going on? 
I set my clock. Man, it didn't even go on. What? What? <sighs> yeah. So I'm out with my girls. We doing it big, you know. Dirt back. <sighs> Girl, I don't know where I am. Mm -hmm. I'll say you skip that diddly dee. I happen to feel as if everything I discover here is mine and mine alone. Oh, there seems to be some. Attractive suitors here. Mm. Yes, yes. Mm. I don't know where we are or who I am. Oh, yes. Hold my head up. Hold my head up. Oh. Ooh. Oh. What's that, that Dr. Pelp? That's that Dr. Pelp. Oh, this whole affair is just glorious. Oh, glorious. See you in the kitchen doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm just trying to perfectly build, you know what I'm saying? Reestablish, you know, try to get something going with you, you know what I'm saying? So you, you feel it, man? What you think about it? What the fuck you doing with your hands? Hey, how you doing, man? Thanks for having me. Oh, hey, what? What we what we laughing at? Did I did I just miss something? What's going on, man? It's so funny. What's happening, man? Hey, man, who hired this clown, man? He over here sniggling and giggling and key key key, man. You call this journalism? I'm on this show to talk serious Arizona business. You know what I'm saying? Taxes, budget cuts, man. Catnip. Oh, oh, okay. Working it. You know, walking is an art form, man. When you walk in like that, man, you, you you gotta earn that. Okay, stunt, side profile, legs, you know what I'm saying? Coming down the steps ever so gently, that way that long dress don't trip you up and then you're stumbling down the steps and then you're on the red carpet face down. Okay, coming in butt first, working it, killing it, switching it, Getting it how you live, making your presence felt, you know, what in the haberdashery and hemoglobin? We had a funeral, shouting. We had a funeral, shouting. Man, I thought this was a fashion show, man. We had a funeral, shouting. She killing them literally, man. Pot twist. Fool believe. Hey! Bob Barker, you better get this pedestrian ass blazer off my neck. And look here, I'll sock the color back in your head with these Luberderm ready hands. Man, don't play games with me. You wanna play games, go back to the prices right. Price is wrong. Wait, I know you ain't about to hop on my back. I know your old ass ain't about to hop on my Man, get off my back, man. I'm sick of this, man. You ain't Chubbs Peterson with your weak ass kicks and khakis. That's the name of your new game show. I have this thing where I get older, but just never wiser. Oh! Uh-uh. 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 I heard that crack. Ain't nothing else here gonna make that crack. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's an ice crack. I know ice crack when I hear it. I ain't about to drown and freeze at the same time. Nope. Nope. Never that! <laughs> Ooh. Uh-uh. Oh. That was you in my litter box, Cordell. I'm gonna pap you up. Now what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? Just another night on the job, guys. Graveyard shift and Kirk Patrick! Yo, this dude got catapulted into another dimension. Yo, he got right up. He don't know what year it is right now. Watch his feet on the liftoff. It's straight up like he was Iron Man levitating. Look at his landing right on his grill piece. And it's funny, he was going along for the ride and his legs kicked up like he was on an imaginary horse. Watch his feet close together right here. What the the hell was he transporting Thor's hammer and what was he looking for when he got up he was looking now was he looking for his nose his eyes his cheekbones his lips it was mad particles of his face on that floor Yo, once you get catapulted into oblivion at work just go home he he went home after this he didn't clock out he didn't do nothing he just went home to his wife his wife was like hey honey where's your face and whose merchandise just got destroyed like this i got questions 
Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? What kind of vibranium adamantium bag is this? Just taking the heat like the Denver Nuggets. Now I'm wondering, do all plastic bags do this when you put them over a flame? And whoever thought about putting a plastic bag over a fresh organic flame? Well, I guess if you're eating outside, you're gonna be doing some wild shit to prepare your food, but that's neither here nor there. You're putting fresh ingredients up in there. She put a whole fish up in there. We got a whole fish stew in a plastic bag that don't burn. Whatever material this bag is made out of, I need cops to wear this for bullet protection, soldiers, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're on the streets and you in them streets tough, you need to cover your whole body in this plastic bag. You can definitely use this bag as a condom because it's thin, it's flimsy, but it's tough. Penetrating all STIs. Ain't no kids getting through this plastic bag. Oh, you mother -fuckers. All right. Okay. Y'all think y'all can do this shit? No! Y'all think y'all can do this shit to me? I scratch it. Y'all just live it. I'm putting catnip on all you bitches. You motherfuckers will be playing Uno in my catnip tree when I get finished with you. Yeah. Shoe program. I'm pissing in y'all shoes. 24 hour meow. Don't play with me. I don't know who the f you think you fucking with. Huh? Can't call and got on me. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? <laughs> now, that's how you make your debut into the function. Even his tire screech was perfect. I want to see Black Panther pull up to every Avengers meeting like this henceforth. This is how I'm pulling up to your cookout. Man, cue up the vegan ribs. We ain't got no vegan ribs in here. We never even knew those existed. Oh, all right. Well, y'all saw how I rolled up, though. All right, I'm out, bitches. Mm. This is how I'm pulling up to your baby shower. Man, cue up the hiss of boys' shirts and pants and short sets and whatnot. I'm having a girl, Tony. Oh, my bad. People don't respect gender differences anyway. I'm out, bitches. This is how I'm pulling up to your game night. Man, cue up that Monopoly game. Ain't nobody playing taboo out here. We lost all the pieces and it take too long. Oh, all right. Well, I'm out then, bitches. Baltic Avenue all day. This is how I'm pulling up to your party at the club. y'all see what it is, you know what I'm saying? Man, where the hoes at? Who are you calling a hoe? Ain't no hoes up in here. Oh, oh, ain't no hoes up in here. I'm out. All right, I'm out, bitches. Who are you calling a bitch? Oh, in my luck, though. If I actually pulled up like this, this would be the last pull-up I've ever done. Oh, Tony, that was dope. Your spine's still on the bike, though. Yeah, I peeped that. Y'all got wheelchairs inside. Now, what's a major key to this type of roll-up is that he did this. It was epic. They cheered. And he left immediately. You have to leave immediately because nothing you do inside is going to top this. Brilliant. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? See, now we just goofing off at these goddamn fashion shows. He's just out here doing this for kicks. I mean, come on, man. A money clip with some dollars in it as an outfit? What function are you wearing this ensemble to? And don't think for a second you ain't going to get robbed. Because those bills look real. If we supposed to be high fashion in these streets, living lavishly out here, how come it's only a few me 
measly dollar bills in that goddamn clip. Girl, what you wearing tonight? Oh, I'm wearing tips, bitch. Gratuity on me. I got questions. When this dude pull off, you gon' feel every piece of these crossbreed pumps. These size disparity pumps, if you will. Let me ask him, hold on. Just act natural like we chill. What the dude? This ain't my first time getting pumps and pumps. Oh, you do this all the time? Nigga, that is right. What? You can't fuck that lad, dog. No, it wasn't even like Get she here. she called me. Bring it up. Fuck it. No, nah, man, you, 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 you got it wrong, man. You <laughs> Damn, you just busted up the whole Sylvia, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Cue up the ready whip festivities. Let's go. Pour it in my hand. Pour it in my hand. You know how we get it in. Pour it in my hand. Just like that. Yeah, just raw in the hand. Mm. 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 So you don't need all the extra shortcakes and the, and the banana splits. Just raw handed, ready whipped cream. Come on. Keep it going. Let me see the bottle. Let me look at the nutrition facts. One gram of fat. The sugar's low. This is fantastic. No one's no one ever talking about this. Mm. Yeah. A lot of people think... Let me see that whole bottle. Let me see the whole bottle. Hey, a lot of people think, mm, I'm going to take it to the head. Mm. Oh, uh, don't worry. I know nobody else wants this. Come on. I know nobody else wants this. Here, give me, give, give me another handful real quick. What I was saying was, give me another handful. What I was saying was, a lot of people don't realize the potency. Hey, you know what? Double up the hands. Give my other hand too. A lot of people don't realize the potency of the whipped cream. I bet you if you took a poll... Most people have taken this straight to the head. It's not just me. Mm. What in the haberdashery and hemoglobin is going on here? It's my home. It's, just, it's, it's gone. It's destroyed. It's my house. My whole house is just done, man. Oh, God. It's my home. It's just everything, man. All my stuff. My car smashed to pieces, man. Let me take these headphones off so I can hear my heart breaking more clearly. Oh, God. No. Just... I'm the only one? Mine's the only house on the whole block that got destroyed. Son of a bitch. I mean, I don't want them to get their house destroyed, but watch this mine. Godzilla and Carl. I know it was y'all, you big bastards. Listen, I hate gorillas. And I hate lizards. Man, come on, man. My cats was in. I had cats, man. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? I should have said haberdasheries and algae because clearly he got on algae today. Man, what old Dale got on right now, man? Clearly, this is tree moss. And they say tree moss likes to grow on the north side of the tree. You can only get this on the north side of the department store that he got it from. Because goddamn, this, this is the Jim Henson fashion line. This is Oscar the Grouch's stepson right here. This this is the this is the Sesame Street elite. See, when you're famous, you just feel like you can wear anything and just get away with it. If you in shape, famous, I'm gonna put on this tree moss and call it a day and watch the prices. Skyrocket, but this this is Dr. Seuss. This is hoarding his a who. This is green eggs and ham all day long, man. This is artificial turf, booger green. Okay, this young man is twelve. There is no way that this young man is twelve. Look at look at that stash. Look at that mustache. Just eighty hours a week in that stash. A pension. In that stash. 401k stash. Some mortgage in that stash right there. That mustache is fully realized. And, and that mustache is established. You mean to tell me this mustache kicked in when he was 10? Sell? Yo, low key, he looked like, he looked like Pusha T. You mean to tell me this drug raps in that stash? Wait, hold on. And he got tattoos? Man, he grown as hell. What's also grown is me in Phoenix, Arizona this weekend. Five shows. One Thursday, two Friday, two Saturday. Get your tickets now. That's what's also grown. But this young man right here ain't even allowed in the comedy club because he only 12. But that mustache owns the club. Man, let me tell y'all something right here, right now. If I see this platter one more goddamn time, I'm John Wick in the whole goddamn establishment. Don't nobody want this goddamn platter. I'm so tired of people swearing up and down that they got me. I'll be like, yo, you got vegan options at the, at the shindig? Yo, Tone, we got you. We got you. And I walk into this and this alone. Whoo! 
I'm sick of this. What makes you think that I want some uncooked vegetables as my meal for the shindy? You think I just want some ashy ass carrots and calling it a day? Some gas giving uncooked broccoli and calling it a day? I don't even like ranch. I don't even like ranch. But Tony, we ain't got to cater to your dietary restrictions. That's fine. But when you tell me beforehand that you got me, I expect some goddamn got me. You didn't have me. You didn't care about me. All you gave me was this. If you do this to me one more time, block me from Instagram. Delete me from your phone because clearly you don't care about me. And I know my, my vegans and my vegetarians can relate. We tired of this goddamn platter. It's fine to have this on the side with some other stuff that we are enjoying. But come on, man. Enough is a goddamn enough, and this ain't enough. Sick of this. Hey, y'all, where y'all headed? Y'all breezing through? Hey, y'all on the I'm nice tight. little road trip, man. Y'all breezing through, huh? Hey, man, get pushed through, man. Come on through here, man. I love it, man. Yeah, you good. You good, you go, man. Bro? Hey, before y'all head down the road, take this with you real quick. Yeah, take that with you. Yeah, man, y'all ain't supposed to be out here, man. That's a climbing ship. Get your ass up out of here. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? Understand this. When I say it's time to go, it's time to go. Don't ask can you stay the night. You cannot. Don't ask can they come back over here and stay the night. They cannot. Don't get over here acting like you hungry, like you ain't ate all day. If you do, I'm going to knock fire out of your throat. Don't touch nothing. Don't break nothing. Don't ask for nothing to drink. Don't ask for nothing to eat. Lisa and I already think her kids is betting everybody else, and they are not. If one of them touch you, you better knock their head off their shoulder. Don't come in there tattling to me about what you think, what you want, and how you feel. When we get ready to go, i tell you how you feel. Is everybody on the same page? Huh, don't play with me. This is the realest video in hip hop right here. You know what I'm saying? You got to let these kids know before you leave the dough. You got to let them know, man. It's a lot of politics to the parental game. When you going over somebody else's house with your kids, there's going to be other kids there. You got to let kids know the ground rules before you leave the crib. It's a battle plan. It's a strategy. It's a lot of politics involved in being a parent. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of kids will use the moment to get over on their parents. You know what I'm saying? I remember I used to do that. When I was a kid, I would have my friend Leon ask my mom if I could stay the night at his place. And vice versa. We think, oh, okay, if I have the other kid ask, that'll soften the blow. That'll soften her up to where she don't want to tell another kid no. And then we in there. We home free. It works sometimes, but sometimes we got cussed out. But it was worth the chance to take. You know what I'm saying? It was worth taking the shot, man. We used to do that all the time. Or ask around a whole bunch of people. Ask around the, the other kids' parents, the other kids, like, can we stay the night? Yeah, yeah. And everybody's looking around. Now the pressure is on the parent that wants to say no. Now the parent doesn't want to look bad. The pressure was on in public. But then they snatch you up to the side. Look here, look here. Don't you ever pull that mess in public again. Now I said yes tonight. But when you get home tomorrow, it's going to be hell to pay. Now get on in there and have a good time at this little wax sleepover that I didn't want to happen. And then you do have the parents that think their kids are better than every other kid in the neighborhood and the family. There's always that family where the parents be like, my kids are better than these kids. And in some cases, they may be right. But not all the time. And you got to make that stance. You know what I'm saying? Your kids is just as good, just as valued, just as well behaved. But even the best kids will go over somebody else's house and act like they have never eaten before. And that's a bad look on the parent. Like when Serena Sincere used to ask to go over somebody else's house, I'd be like, make sure you eat before you leave this house. Because they will get over to that other house and be like, food? What's that? I've never seen food. Pancakes? Burgers? What, what do you mean? It's like they introduced to it for the first time over there. Then when you come pick your kids up, you look like Mad Dog from Jason's Lyric. You got on the dingy post-Vietnam, I'm an alcoholic now, wife beater on? That's how they looking at you, man. Come on, man. There's rules to the game when you're a parent out here. And I fully endorse and back 
This woman right here laying the ground rules before they leave the house. And another thing, we go grocery shopping, don't ask for nothing, okay? Kids always want to add to the basket, but ain't got no add to the basket money. This is what kids do. I did it, and then when I was a parent, you ain't going to do it even though I did it. The hypocrisy of the parenthood. It's always coming back, man. And also, when a kid is over at the house unexpectedly, you know, don't expect to eat. I didn't factor this extra kid in to when I was cooking dinner. If I'm cooking dinner, I didn't factor in enough for the extra kid. The kid has to go home. The boys had this one friend. He was greedy McClintock. He was greedy Montgomery. He was greedy Reynolds out here. Talking about, is there something for me? No, absolutely not. You live around the corner. Go around that corner and see what your mother cooked. Because I didn't factor you in. I figured I'm going to get about two plates. Uh, my oldest, he might get a plate and a half. Sincere, he'll probably do half a plate, maybe a full plate. And then my ex-wife at the time, she'll probably do a plate. So I, fa I factored all of this in after years of coexisting. I knew the dynamics and the mathematics and the portions. I didn't factor you in, young man. Go around the corner, have your supper, come back over here after you had your own supper from your own house with the own documents that your own parents provided for you to eat for the day and not me.